Only the most committed of adventurers have made it through the green door, and I know what your journey has entailed thus far. So please, clean your boots on the mat before you come in. The Dark Angels are considered amongst the most powerful and secretive of the Loyalist Space Marine chapters. They were the first of the original 20 Space Marine Legions to be created. They are feared by their enemies and held in awe by those they protect. The Dark Angels are among the Emperor's most faithful servants. But for millennia, the Dark Angels have harboured a sinister secret, an act so terrible and shameful it threatens everything they hold most dear. So what does that mean for us today? It means that I want to find a way to convey that story in a simple but fun paint scheme for the Dark Angel Space Marines. So let's dive in. A model today is one of the easy to build assault intercessors, but instead of that pesky Ultramarine's left arm, I've swapped in a spare bit, which I believe is a bolt gun variant from the Incursor or Infiltrator models. Primed in black from a rattle can, and did I mention that this week I'm testing the new range of the Army Painter Fanatic paints? I did? Good. I'm a handful of models down by this stage, and I'm loving them. I want to test today if I can go from dark and ominous to bright and vibrant on such a small model with simple techniques. Angel Green is my first green, and they've been kind enough to take some of the decisions out of my hands with the naming conventions here. Speaking of out of my hands, well, that's an unpromising start if ever I've seen one. It's almost like this model has been cursed for 10,000 years. There's nothing wrong with changing your mind on the fly. I went from angel green to green skin, and I felt that it was too bright a jump. So I've stopped after painting one shoulder, and I created a 50-50 mix of the two instead. Yep, I'm happier with this. You can choose to paint your Dark Angels Marine in the classic Games Workshop style, or any other method that excites you that you've seen. I want to convey a story of secrecy and a dark and splintered past by using deep greens in Apache style and then work my way lighter with the outer layer being the vibrant image they want to portray. Now I can move to green skin and the transition feels smoother. The origins of the Dark Angels remain shrouded in mystery. Few Imperial records of the chapter's beginnings still exist. The Dark Angel's terrible secret is that during the Horus Heresy, some of them were turned to the side of chaos. This battle led to the destruction of the Dark Angel's homeworld Caliban, with many of the traitor marines surviving and being cast through space and time by the direct intervention of the Chaos Gods. These marines are known as the Fallen, and the secret mission of the Dark Angels is to destroy all of the remaining Fallen in the hopes of finding their own salvation. I'm going to roll the dice and push it one stage lighter, so now I have a stipple gradient on these armour panels from black and dark brown all the way through to this bright green. Here's how the armour is looking so far, and for a short amount of work, I think this style would look great across a company of marines battling in ruined gothic buildings. Some cheeky tidy up by adding black into the panel lines and recess areas, and this takes away any messy elements and makes everything on the armour look deliberate. Some grey in those armour joints because I'm forever being told off in the comments section for painting them in metallic colours. Instead, this time around, you should let me know in the comments what theme you would like to see if ever I create another Choose Your Own Adventure painting series. Some red unit markings on the shoulder, and I'll end up painting the bolt gun casing in red as well. Green is the primary colour for Dark Angels, but red and bone both feature as accents. Picking out each of the metallic sections with plate mail metal and then using strong tone this time around as a darker and heavier wash. 
Then the chest symbol can be the bone color accents. Really easy way to paint these is with a base coat of a darker color, then simply two gentle layers as highlights with brighter colors. I don't think the model needed any more metal areas and they don't deserve gold. They know what they've done. If you haven't already, I'd ask that you consider giving the video a like. This is what helps to promote my video and share it to people that otherwise haven't discovered my channel yet. But now, let's check out how our Dark Angel Space Marine has turned out. Now if my science is correct, then you are either at the end of your journey or you still have one video to go. If it is in fact the end of the journey for you and your final page, then I want to thank you so much for being a part of it and be sure to let me know what you've liked and what needs to be different for next time. But if you have one more video to go, <clears throat> then choose now, but choose wisely for only one path will take you to the end of your story. Behind the blue door lays a tale of deception and psychic intrigue, capable of destroying all but the strongest of wills. Or will it be the red door? Here you will come face to face with a foe unmatched in close combat, who lives for nothing more but the gruesome destruction of their enemies to favour their dark god. Choose now, and I will be there for the last leg of your journey, you magnificent painter.